Kane Zachariah Dingle is a fictional character in the British ITV soap opera Emmerdale. He is played by Jeff Hordley, and made his first appearance on March 30, 2000. In 2006, Kane was written out of the series when Hordley left the show. However, the door was left open for a return, which occurred when Hordley returned to the cast in February 2009. Kane's storylines have focused on his relationships with his cousin Charity Dingle and others. Other storylines include discovering he is the father of Debbie Dingle, and more recently, being attacked in a whodunit storyline where his assailant was eventually revealed to be his father, Zach. In March 2014, he became engaged to Moira Barton, with whom he had previously had an affair, in 2011, while she was still married to her late husband John. Kane and Moira's wedding took place on May 15, 2014, the same day as the wedding of his ex-girlfriend and cousin Charity to Declan Maisie. Kane was diagnosed with a brain aneurysm in January 2015. Creation and Casting In 2000, series producer Kyron Roberts introduced three new members of the Dingle family. The new characters made their first appearance at the funeral of Butch Dingle. Among them were Kane, son of Zach Dingle and Faith Dingle. Kane's cousin one-time lover is Charity Dingle, and Zach's brother is Shadrach. In April 2006, it was announced that Jeff Hordley had quit, however the door was left open for a possible return in the future. In January 2009, it was announced that the character would be brought back in April that year after a three-year break. Speaking to Digital Spy about his return, Hordley said I am really looking forward to returning to Emmerdale. The storylines that led to Kane's return are in keeping with his character and a perfect way to bring him back to the heart of the Dingle clan where he belongs. Hordley later said that he initially turned down a return but when he was approached on the matter he approved of the storyline and felt like the time was right for me. Development equals Characterization equals, the character was labeled a ruthless hard man, a bad boy, and a villain by Digital Spy. ITV.com also described Kane as the village pariah, and commented that he likes being in charge, but dislikes being made a fool of. What's on TV described him saying a villain through and through, Kane Dingle will even cross his own family if it's worth his while. Kane has also been described as the village's unmistakable bad boy. When casting a new family for the serial one character specification described Kane's earlier tenure, saying, much in the early Kane Dingle mold, ruthless, unscrupulous, and extremely promiscuous. Hordley said Debbie is Kane's Achilles heel who he would move mountains for while women are his other Achilles heel, but he won't move mountains for them. Equals relationship with Charity Tate equals, upon Kane's return to the village he and Charity reunite. Charity proposes on Christmas Day to which Kane accepts. Even though their family. Hordley explained that the couple can't see they are made for each other as they are so busy competing and getting one up on each other, which means that they fail to see that they are the same. Atkins said Charity asked Kane to marry her to prove a point. On a storyline in which Kane and Charity plan to carry out a scam Atkins said it would make the audience question will they won't they pull it off before adding that it is a Bonnie and Clyde storyline but without the deaths. Hordley said he and Atkins spark off and bounce off each other which Hordley added made it easier for me to act with her. Atkins added that she felt having a good rapport in that way both on and off screen is vital. Digital Spy described the relationship as volatile. Equals return equals, Hordley said Kane's return is his way of coming back unannounced, and added, Kane's style is to surprise people, but there has been involvement in the storyline as he was the one to get Debbie released from prison. Hordley felt that upon Kane's return everyone's moved on. He added that Kane looks down on Aaron Livesey, and that Aaron is like a little puppy looking up to Kane, thinking that his uncle's the bee's knees. He also stated, there's a great relationship going to build there. Aaron stands for everything Kane was a Euro he's a younger version of him and Kane recognizes that. There's definitely lots of undiscovered territory there. On Kane and Chaz's relationship Hordley also felt that it hasn't really been explored. Even though they have been in the serial a long time together the relationship is still non-existent. This left so much scope, and with Aaron being involved too. There certainly should be more involvement and I'm hopeful there will be. On Kane's relationship with Debbie, 
Cordley said the relationship was true to the character's roots. He added that Kane will do whatever it takes to look after that girl. If there's one Achilles heel of Kane, it's his daughter. It's his weakness and he'll move mountains for her. Hordley also felt that Kane's relationship with Charity was going to be a big thing, and that he expected there would be a lot of stuff between Charity, Debbie and Kane. Equals attack equals, in 2011, it was announced that Kane would become part of a major storyline where he is attacked by a mystery assailant. The storyline developed after Kane had made several enemies throughout the year and forced one of his enemies to take the ultimate revenge. Producers stylized the plot as a whodunit storyline, which would keep viewers guessing as to whom the attacker was. The potential suspects were revealed to be John Barton, Moira Barton, G. Sharma, Amy Wyatt, Zach Dingle and Charity Tate. A spokesperson for the serial stated that the characters had become sworn enemies of Kane, all pushed to the limit after months of manipulation and destruction. Emmerdale's executive producer Stuart Blackburn said that the climax of Kane's actions will be one of our most dramatic episodes this year as viewers decide who took matters into their own hands. The attacker was revealed to be Zach Dingle, Kane's father. Storylines. Equals 2000 a Euro 06 equals. Kane arrives for his brother Butch's funeral, blaming police officers Angie Reynolds and Chris Tate for his death. Wanting revenge, he seduces Angie's daughter, Ollie, and manipulates her into believing that he cares, despite sleeping with her mother. When Angie dumps Kane, he has her fired, has a steamy session with Ollie and pushes Len Reynolds down a flight of stairs. Determined to get her own revenge. Angie goes along with Kane's plan to rob a Tate haulage truck but she sets him up and is fatally injured in a car crash. He begs her to tell him she loves him but she tells him how much she loves her children. As a teenager, Kane had a fling with Charity Dingle, and attacks her when he learns that she is dating Chris. Paddy and Emily Kirk foster Debbie Jones, who befriends the Dingles. When Kane sees a picture of Debbie's biological mother, he realizes that Debbie is his and Charity's daughter. He blackmails Charity, threatening to tell Chris, so Charity tells him and spends time with Kane, eventually rekindling their affair and Chris catches them. Kane and Debbie leave the village but returns so he can clear his name and admit his love for Charity. She ends the relationship when she realizes she cannot live with him while on bail, due to pregnancy. She moves on to Tom King, and they plan to marry. Sadie King, Tom's daughter-in-law, hires Kane to make Tom think Charity has been unfaithful but Charity clears her name and leaves the village. Sadie and Kane end up in bed. When she rejects him, he kills her dog. Kane and Debbie move into Butler's farm with Andy Sugden. Debbie briefly dates Andy, resulting in a daughter Sarah. Unlike Debbie Kane bonds with her. Kane attempts to hurt Debbie by having a brief relationship with her friend girlfriend Jasmine Thomas and ensuring that Debbie sees them together. Debbie and Sadie help Jasmine terminate her pregnancy, knowing that Kane wanted to be a father. Kane and Sadie damage the King's River show home. When Sadie rejects him, he tells Jimmy that she paid him to vandalize the house and they are together. When Sadie confronts him, Kane threatens to tell Matthew as well so Sadie tells Ashley that Kane got Jasmine pregnant. The Dingles throw him out and allow Debbie to return. Kane leaves the village, unaware that he has damaged the show home's gas pipe. Despite Jimmy's temporary repair, the house explodes and kills Dawn Woods, Noreen Bell and David Brown. Kane tells the police that he killed Alice so Samson will not lose both parents and his family forgive him, and Sadie bails him out. They plan revenge on Tom and Matthew King by plotting to kidnap Tom. Debbie tells Kane that Sadie paid for Jasmine's abortion. After a violent confrontation, Kane follows Sadie and kidnaps her and Tom. Chastity confronts him but he denies any knowledge of Tom and Sadie's disappearance. With the police closing in, Kane takes them to an abandoned factory and switches cars. They follow him to a quarry, where Kane sends his car over a cliff. While the police search the lake, Kane disguises himself as an officer. After shooting Sadie, Kane forces Tom to get Chastity to deliver the ransom. Debbie begs Kane to let her go with him and they part in tears. Kane gives some of the ransom money to an old woman, 
asking her to post it to Debbie. Surprised by the woman's honesty, Kane realizes he wants to change. At the airport, he gets on a plane and leaves Sadie behind, telling her that he does not want to continue as he was. He leaves Debbie a message that he has left Sadie, asking her to ignore what others say and telling her that he loves her more than he shows. On her 18th birthday, Kane sends her a silver watch. Equals 2009 a euro equals, in February 2009, Kane returns to support Debbie as she is on remand for murdering Shane Doyle. He is arrested and hires a solicitor for Debbie who tells him that Andy is refusing her access to Sarah. Kane supports Debbie in her successful custody battle and tempts Maisie Wilder, despite her parents' disapproval. After having a relationship with Maisie, Kane flirts with Fay Lam. When he refuses to return money to Jimmy and Carl King, they beat him up. Kane dislikes Debbie's boyfriend, Michael, and learns that he is marrying his pregnant Fianca copyrightee. Kane and Debbie arrive at the church and learn that Charity is Michael's fiance. When Michael learns about Charity's past, he jilts her. Debbie invites Charity to stay with her, despite Kane's opposition. Charity and Carl plan to rob Kane, but Kane and Debbie catch them and throw Charity out. Kane returns on December 22 with gifts for Debbie and Sarah, reconciling with Charity on Christmas Day after she proposes to him. Kane finds Mark Wilder's wallet in the woods after Mark is reported missing and blackmails her and her son Nathan. Sam's dog, Alfie, digs up the body and Nathan frames his half brother, Ryan Lamb, for Mark's murder, and Ryan is convicted. Kane tells Maisie that Nathan and Natasha paid him to keep quiet and he cannot help Ryan without incriminating himself. After seeing Nathan lie in the witness box, Kane kidnaps him to keep Sam quiet about the wallet. He holds him hostage and threatens to kill him if Ryan is found guilty. When Maisie learns what her mother and brother did, she calls the police and tells them that her mother killed her father. In April 2011, Charity ends her relationship with Kane again after he has a one-night stand with Faye and sleeps with Amy Wyatt. When he rejects her, she tells him she is pregnant so he persuades her to have an abortion but her pregnancy is too far advanced. Amy tells him and Victoria Sugden that she had the abortion so Kane has an affair with Moira Barton and tells John. Amy gives birth to Kane's son, Kyle, in a cemetery. Thinking he is dead, she panics and leaves him in a phone box. Hazel Rhodes and Lisa Dingle find him, and call an ambulance. Amy admits being his mother and Kane realizes she lied about the abortion. Kane dislikes G. Sharma so when Priya shows an interest in him, Kane takes advantage of this. G. accuses Kane of stealing from his parents' house and causing their father's road accident. Kane sends G a photo of Priya asleep nude and persuades her to report G to the police for assaulting her. Priya forgives Kane until she learns he is the father of Amy's baby and slept with Moira. Kane is arrested when G reports his threats to the police but released with a caution. Debbie throws him out and Kane confronts John, Moira, Chaz and Amy before leaving the village. Cameron later finds G standing over Kane, now badly injured, and calls an ambulance. Kane recovers, claiming that she attacked him until Zack admits that he was responsible. He tells the police that a man he knew from Spain attacked him. Kane saves Holly Barton's life when she relapses on heroin and angers her brother, Adam. Confronting Kane at the garage, he demands an apology for what Kane has done to his family, but Kane refuses. So Adam sets the garage on fire and leaves Kane to die, but returns later. Aaron Livesey begs Kane to tell the police the fire was an accident, and Kane threatens Adam. In 2012, Moira and Kane get together, and on New Year's Day 2013, they announce their relationship by kissing in the Woolpack. In April, Moira learns that she is pregnant but miscarries. Despite this, their relationship gets stronger, and Kane moves in with Moira and Adam, who adjusts to the situation. In August, Debbie reunites with Cameron angering Kane and Charity. Kane takes Cameron hostage and threatens to kill him but Debbie stops him harming Cameron. Reluctantly, Kane relents but warns Cameron that he'll be watching him. In October 2013, Kane rushes back from holiday when he learns that Cameron has laid siege to the Woolpack and is holding Debbie and Chaz hostage. 
On his return, he is relieved to find Debbie and Taz safe and Cameron died in the siege. Kane supports Debbie through the trauma and eventually nurses her back to health. Kane resumes his romance with Moira, but later that month the man who terrorized Laurel Thomas arrives at the Bartons, injured. The man is revealed to be Ross Barton, Moira's nephew, who assisted Kane in a crime he committed during his absence. Kane is not happy to see Ross but allows him to stay with him and Moira and gives him a job at the garage. However, Kane and Moira's life is intruded on furthermore when Ross's father, James, follows him to Emmerdale accompanied by his other sons, Pete and Finn. Kane and James instantly clash especially when Moira tells Kane that James made a pass at her in March 2014. Kane confronts James and warns him that he is keeping an eye on him. James later apologizes to Kane. Later that month, Moira proposes to Kane and he accepts. The couple get engaged and, assisted by Chaz in wedding preparations, Kane and Moira set a date for May 15, 2014. They get married although James gets drunk at their reception. In December 2014, Kane comes home from a business trip to France with bad pain in his head. He ignores it for a week at which point he collapses and is found by his ex-wife Charity Macy, who takes him to hospital. Kane is told he has a brain aneurysm and needs an operation immediately, but leaves the hospital. Returning to the village, he walks by the river but falls in after a dizzy spell. He is found by Vanessa Woodfield while she is out walking. Eventually, Kane recovers from his condition, but is aware that the aneurysm will still exist inside his brain. Kane saves his sister, Belle Dingle after she tries to kill herself, and she is diagnosed with possibly schizophrenia, following recent events which led to the teenager killing her best friend a year previously. Since Belle's diagnosis, Kane has been supportive towards his sister. In June 2015, Kane and Moira discover that Charity was pregnant when she was sentenced to prison and the baby, Moses Dingle, could possibly be Kane's. Kane visits Charity in prison and questions if he is the father of her child. It is later revealed that Ross Barton is Moses's father, following a one-night stand with Charity. Kane soon finds out that Ross and Debbie have been having an affair and to stop Debbie from running away with Ross, he tells her that Ross is Moses's father. Debbie's wedding day approaches and Kane threatens Ross and warns him to leave Debbie alone. Debbie marries Pete Barton but her affair with Ross is discovered on a recorded confession which Ross made on his mobile phone during a conversation with Debbie. Just as everyone finds out, a helicopter comes crashing through the roof of the village hall, leaving everyone's lives at risk. Kane and Pete carry Debbie out of the village hall, as she is discovered under some debris and therefore begins to fight for her life, due to serious injuries following the crash. But, Kane realizes that Carl is trapped in the debris and goes in to rescue him, but Kyle hides from him. Kane manages to convince him to come out. Kyle eventually comes out, and Kane rescues him, just before the entire village hall collapses. Reception At the 2002 British Soap Awards Hordley was nominated for Sexiest Male, and Villain of the Year. At the 2007 British Soap Awards Hordley was nominated for Sexiest Male, Villain of the Year, and Best Exit. At the 2009 Inside Soap Awards Hordley was nominated for Best Bad Boy while Kane's and Debbie's Custody Battle for Sarah was nominated for Best Storyline. At the 2010 British Soap Awards Hordley was nominated for Sexiest Male and Villain of the Year. For his portrayal of Kane, Hordley was nominated in the category of Villain of the Year at the 2011 Inside Soap Awards. Hordley was nominated in the category of Serial Drama Performance at the 2012 National Television Awards, for his portrayal of Kane. In a poll to find the most kissable soap stud run by dating agency Dating Direct, Hordley came sixth with 1% of the vote. Hordley was nominated for Best Villain at the 2012 All About Soap Awards, while the, who attacked Kane. Storyline was voted Best Mystery by Readers. The character was selected as one of the top 100 British soap characters by industry experts for a poll to be run by What's On TV, with readers able to vote for their favorite character to discover, who is soap's greatest legend. Digital Spy reported that Hordley received a mainly positive reaction for his role. Tom Lister who plays Carl King said Kane is a great character adding that it was a coup to get Jeff back.
Lucy Pargeter who plays Chaz said commented on Hordley's return saying I really hope that they get us together and give us a storyline which highlights the strength between them before adding that Hordley is amazing and everyone's so excited that he's coming back. References External links, Kane Dingle at ITV.com, Kane Dingle at What's on TV.